everybody, it's your Tower Pelk here, and today I am going to be telling you guys what it is like in kind of a little bit of a tutorial on how to feed snakes. Now, um, snakes make great pets, I'm not doing all that care and stuff, I'm just going to say that. This is Corn Maze, my very first snake, uh, she's still with us, she's not even old or anything, I mean, she's like five, she'll live 20, 25 years. She's an albino California king snake, and I have another snake too, which is a snow corn snake and her name is Rita but we're gonna be feeding corn maze first so first thing is first uh, for the size of mouse you're really just gonna want something that's no bigger than like twice the size of their head I mean uh, you can kind of stretch that a little bit but the food I use is just about twice the size of their head now you do not I mean unless you're like a big breeder with hundreds of snakes, you don't want to feed the snake actually in their cage because uh, um, whenever you stick your hand in there, they might think it's food. So I prefer to feed mine in a, just a little plastic tub, and for the substrate of that, I just have a paper towel in there. You don't really have to have anything, but I have a paper towel. So when it's time for feeding, I'll just set my snake in here. Now, uh, she already knows it's feeding time, so I don't really want to play around with her too much because she might strike at me. So after you have your snake in there, uh, what you're going to do with the mouse, I'm using frozen thawed mice, and just so you know there is holes in the sides of this. So the, I'm going to go get the mouse and I'll be right back. So if they're frozen, I'm not just going to say, oh corn maze, eat this. You know, uh, you want to thaw them out. So how you're going to do that is you're going to get some hot water going. Okay, and after you have it nice and warm, uh, you want to just kind of rinse them off a little bit. And then you want to fill a small container up with hot water and drop them in there. And now you just want to check them probably in 10 minutes. And how you're going to do that is just grab them and kind of squirt, like, do this. So almost if I had this, it would just be like pressing down like that on the sides of them. And whenever they feel nice and squishy, uh, <laughs> I know it's kind of gross, but once they feel like you can squish them a little bit, they are ready to be fed. Okay, now I forgot to mention this, but uh, my mice aren't ready yet. As you can see, they're not very squishy. Uh, the water's getting pretty cold, so I forgot to mention you might want to um, dump the water out and put hot water in once it's uh, cold. So yeah, just check them every couple minutes, and if the water's cold, make it hot again. Now here comes the important part, feeding the snake. So, uh, I prefer to use tongs that have pads at the end. They do not have to have these. It's just sometimes my snake miss the mouse and they'll bite onto here and if it doesn't have padding, it can break their teeth and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is um, grab a mouse, just kind of by the tail. Uh, shake it off a little bit, I guess and hold the tongs tight and just kind of hold it up to their face and once they grab it you know you can kind of shake it a little bit and then just let go and Before this is uh, Zarita, my snow corn snake. So let's get her in here and let's get 